That's right, people. It's that time again. Stealth camping at another restaurant. Let's go. Today, only on KBD Productions TV, we'll be heading up to Barrie, Ontario, Canada to do another stealth camping video. And you guys all guessed it on my social media. That's right. This time we'll be camping at Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen for 24 hours of chicken goodness. I decided to start our day when Popeye's opens, which is at 11 a.m., to eat a spicy lunch. Then later, get some snacks, go for a few walks, set up our stealth camper and our inflatable air mattress, play a game in the comfort of our bed, and have an awesome dinner and, of course, a late night snack. After that busy day, we'll hit the hay, get lots of rest, and wake up to a brand new day of eating even more Popeye's food. If this adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. And there is our next stealth camping location, Popeye's. As you can see, it is almost 11 o'clock on Tuesday the 15th. And uh, Popeye's is right there. There are cars there, but it's not open until 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna get my stuff all ready and uh, we'll set up and we'll start our 24 hours eating only at Popeye's. It's gonna be awesome. All right, it is seven after 11 and I've seen a couple people drive through and uh, get their food so it's our turn there's another person just driving through right now and of course we're going to get the brand new chicken sandwich that everybody's been raving about it's finally come to canada i have done it in the united states of america and now it's time to do it here in canada and of course we're going to start our 24 hour stealth camping off with this sandwich oh boy and we're going to go spicy of course hi i'd love to try that new chicken sandwich spicy please uh, we'll do the combo and it's going to be a coke and uh, I guess your curly fry or your sorry your Cajun fries Sure. Anything else? That's it. Thanks. 10, 15, Thank you All right people our first Meal of the day is ten dollars and fifteen cents. Did you hear me? I actually said curly fries for a second I thought I was at Arby's silly Ken. So while we're waiting uh, I've got a full range of masks for later on uh, I've got my toque, my YouTube toque, to keep my head warm at nighttime. It's going to drop to around 10 degrees Celsius overnight, and uh, right now it is 12 degrees Celsius. It is quite cool out. Uh, I even brought a headlamp just in case I need to see around in the car. I'm not sure where I'm going to park tonight. There's an oil change place over here, of course, Popeyes, and then there's a gas station. I might slip into the gas station and park in there because it's probably a 24 hour gas station, I'll find out later on. Uh, but this is not necessarily uh, staying on the premises for 24 hours. I'm trying to keep as close to, to uh, Popeyes as much as I can, but I also try to be uh, as legal as I can too. So if they don't mind parking overnight, I'll stay there. Uh, I doubt Popeyes advocates sleeping here overnight. But uh, I might be able to sleep in the gas station parking lot. And uh, yeah, and plus they, if they're open 24 hours, then I can use their washroom if I need it. That's important. That's very important. All right, people, we are next. Hello. 10.15? Yep. All right, thank you. And my drink? Oh. Not a problem. Thank you, have a good day. All right, people, let's park it. All right, people, we are parked. First, we're gonna remove the seatbelt, then get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Got the food, got the drink. Let's first pop this straw into our drink. Garbage on the floor until later. Coca-Cola, show the logo. Love that chicken sandwich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is our beautiful Popeye's meal. Over here we got our Coke, we got our fries, again it was in the bag sideways so it was all left on one side, I had to fix it all so it's a better presentation, but that looks yummy. Look at all those spices on there, the Cajun spices, you can see the pepper, alright and over here 
First time in Canada, as of yesterday, uh, this is our spicy chicken sandwich. Look at that glistening, shiny bun. And then we got our spicy chicken filet. There's a pickle over here somewhere. And uh, bottom bun, nicely toasted. That little spot missing, that was me trying to take it out of the bag. It wasn't Popeyes whatsoever. Oh, look at the sauce over there. <gasps> oh, that looks spicy. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Check out these fries, people. Perfectly cooked. Wonderful, wonderful flavor of Cajun spices. Mmm. Oh, my God. The most unique fry. Totally different from everybody else's, which is great. Way to go, Popeyes. Fingers are already greased up. 24 hours of greasy fingers. Let's get in that sandwich. Definitely have to take it out of its pouch to show it all its glory. And I can't remember off the top of my head right now which sandwich I had in the United States. I think it must have been spicy because I, I love spicy chicken sandwiches. But let's just take this lid off. Oh yeah, nicely toasted. All sauced up. And of course that translated over to our beautiful breast of chicken and I believe they use actual full breast of chicken very very nice and we've got two pickles once again if you'd like to tell me what kind of pickle that is I'd appreciate it because I don't know it definitely looks this one looks more like a slice of cucumber than a pickle uh, other pickles they really look like pickles that actually looks like cucumber I know a cucumber or I know a pickle is a pickled cucumber but that looks more like a cucumber than a pickle. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. I got the whole pickle in on the first bite. Ooh la la. Oh, that chicken is so juicy. All right, I needed to do an extreme close up of that chicken. Look how juicy it is. I'm trying to get it to glisten. Come on, there it is. Look how juicy that chicken is inside that sandwich. It looks phenomenal. When I use my other camera, it just, does, it just doesn't show it. It doesn't show the detail, but this camera is showing how juicy that chicken is. So every bite is gonna be super yummy. Thanks, Popeyes. Bite number two. Mm. Wow. That is phenomenal. Thank you very much, Popeyes, for bringing this to Canada. I only had it once in the States. So glad you brought it here. It's for us Canadians to enjoy. And uh, if any Canadians are watching this video, please go out and try this. It is one of the best sandwiches you'll ever have. Definitely get the spicy. And uh, hopefully you don't have to line up. I didn't have to line up too much. I'm not sure if people were lined up for this sandwich or just regular lunch. Uh, chances are they're in here for this thing because it is wonderful. But let me know in the comments below if, if you're Canadian, if you've tried it, and if you agree with me that it is a phenomenal sandwich. Mm. The only thing I do different is put a third pickle on there because I bit that first bite. <laughs> took the whole pickle out. And the last two bites, I didn't get any pickle. You gotta get the pickle. Let's keep eating. Chicken pickle. Chicken pickle. Chicken pickle spice. Yummy. Woo! It's still crazy hot, man. Woo! Last bite of this beautiful sandwich. I'm gonna miss you too. Mmm. Number one, I'm so glad I chose Popeyes to do my next stealth camping 24 hour video. Number two, I'm really, really happy that the sandwich finally came to Canada 
and that I did it as my first meal of the day here at Popeyes. So we're gonna kick back, relax, maybe go for a walk. I'm gonna try and remind you guys or let you guys know how many steps I do between now and tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, that's the other thing is I'm gonna have to wait till after 11 tomorrow to have my last meal. And maybe we'll do the regular chicken sandwich to end it off, what do you think? Yeah. It is now 18 minutes after one. Uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. All right, back in the car, uh, I've done uh, 5,221 steps so far today. My distance for the whole day so far is four kilometers, but the walk I just did was 2.75 kilometers. So yeah, that's how I'm going to keep doing that every so often, and uh, we'll try and burn some of the calories that we're eating today. Time for an afternoon snack. Took a picture of their menu, and on their menu, brand new, I think, is a raspberry cheesecake pie. So let's go in there, grab a poutine, this raspberry cheesecake pie, and a drink. Come back here and eat with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go in. How are you? I like to get um, a poutine, uh, your raspberry cheesecake pie, and I'll do a fountain drink, I guess. Please. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Nine twelve. Great, thank you, sir. Take the napkin, so thank you. They don't have any uh, sanitizer in there, so we're gonna sanitize up now. Get your hands all washed, be as clean as possible, germ free. All right, guys, all set up. Let's first take a sip of this raspberry drink. I'm like, raspberry, raspberry, let's do it. All right, guys, let's do the poutine first. First of all, these little air holes here. Let the aroma of that Cajun gravy come out along with that poutine. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's open it up. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's leaking. It's all over the place. Holy cow, all those cheese curds. Here's an extreme close-up of the Popeye's poutine. We got cheese curds smothered with gravy piled on top of those beautiful Cajun fries. Oh my goodness. Let's get into this, I can't even wait. And yes, we are gonna be using our own cold forge fork and knife set to save the environment. He started grabbing a fork to put into the bag. I'm like, dude, I've got my own. There's a link in the description just in case you want your own. Go check it out. Pull this fork out, done. Let's pick out some of these fries. Sorry, I'm gonna go for a cheese curd first. I'm gonna go for the, the biggest cheese curd that I can find and it's right there. I was eyeballing it the whole time. Look at the size of that cheese curd, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. It's funny how a cheese curd changes flavors due to the type of gravy some of these different companies use some of these fast food companies uh, but normally it's just like thick gut french fries a chicken based gravy and cheese curds but when fast food restaurants like Popeyes Canada jumps on board the whole poutine thing they have their own little flavor to it their own little flair and the fact that they have these special Cajun fries and their Cajun gravy it completely changed the the way a poutine should be, but it changes it in a good way. Nothing wrong with it. Tastes great. Almost has like a, 
like a smoky smokehouse flavor to it. I'm not going to be able to eat dinner until later because this is filling. I'm not sure how many calories that is, but that chicken burger was uh, 690 calories, not including the fries or drink. Let me know once again if you've had the poutine from Popeyes. Poutine, Popeyes poutine. Fantastic. And another sip of this raspberry drink. It's not too sweet, it's quite uh, refreshing. Let's get into this raspberry cheesecake pie. Look at all those little bubbles from the deep frying process, which is gonna make it taste scrumptious. Oh, we got a little piece of raspberry. Something's coming out this side. Oh boy, let's break this open. See what it looks like inside. Hopefully it doesn't just go everywhere. Let's break it, break it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh, oh, it's not as gooey, melty as I thought. Look at the inside of this pie. We got cheesecake filling. We got raspberry filling. And it looks like we got graham crust all stuffed inside this beautiful little pastry. Let's take a bite. It smells awesome. Ooh, I'm gonna take this whole chunk and eat it. Wow, that raspberry filling. Nice and sweet. The cheesecake part is nice and creamy. And of course, definitely having that graham crust in there just rounds it off. Mmm. I had no idea that they had these on the menu. I'm not sure if it's just in Canada or it's everywhere. There's a Popeyes. Let me know in the comments below if it's one of those seasonal things because it is separate from all the other pies um, on the menu. I'm going to keep eating this because it's good. A little bundle of joy right there in my hand. Not anymore. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That was a perfect afternoon snack. I'm going to finish the rest of this off, and then we'll set up the stealth camping for later on tonight. Cheers. Just got back from another three kilometer walk. It took me about 43 minutes. Again, I was just going really slow uh, and I burned another 173 calories. And so for the whole day so far, I've burned 523 calories of walking activity, which is great. And uh, let's now set up the stealth camping. This is for the air mattress, by the way. This is my power. Usually put it like right there. And let's get the seats down. Put that down, click it in the place. Done. All right, I like to put this over here. Sleeping bag, sleeping bag don't need it right now. YouTube pillow can go up there. Bed out. Put that in the storage. Just like that's the right side. Got to open it up, make sure everything's good. Put the pump on top. There we go. Need some power. We need this power too. There we go. Green light means go. Got to make sure valve's plugged in. You can attach this now. And then let it rip. I think it's best if the car's running. Okay, now we're ready to go. All right, all done. Pull that out. The valve will stop the air from coming out. Make sure we plug that in nice and tight. Let's play another video game. Press the trunk button. Locked in. This next game is a game that is a great time killer if you're at an airport and you're on a long layover or a very long flight. It's called Majan. And basically it's a tile game. Start. So you have four tiles that are all exactly the same. And then there's multiple sets of those same four tiles. Uh, so there's two circles up here and then two circles on the top. And now they disappear, it makes a little noise. If you have the, the sound effects on, it does play really cool music. Uh, if you're interested in the music part of it. Again, there's the, the yin and yang. And then you can make that 
disappear one two gone but you, the object of the game is to get rid of all the tiles and let's say out of every 20 to 50 games you might win not the easiest game to play but it's a great game i'm down to my last few tiles and just lost out of moves oh well it's time for dinner unfortunately there's a huge lineup and it is 6 22 in the evening and there's a crazy long lineup people just keep coming in so i'm just going to line up <laughs> all right not a whole lot of people in the lineup all of a sudden it went down a bunch of people must have just ordered like one thing easy to serve all right we're one two three fifth in line hi i like to try the number 15 fish and shrimp combo please fish and shrimp combo what's the side of drink let's go uh macaroni and cheese please mac and cheese and the drink was uh coke coke right anything else that's it thanks thank you hello fish and shrimp and mac and cheese yeah thank you thank you all right guys all set up check this out it is, smells really really fishy in my car right now Ooh, i forgot about the biscuit going to be in there check out this beautiful dinner from popeyes of course over here we got our go-to coke beverage and then over here we got our tartar sauce We've got that beautiful biscuit. Oh my goodness. I'm waiting for it to steam up my lens. Then we got a piece of fish right there. And down there is our popcorn shrimp. And inside this little bucket here is our mac and cheese. Oh, look how creamy that mac and cheese is. Are you guys ready for this wonderful dinner? Let's do it. Definitely have to have a bite of this biscuit. I haven't had one in so long buttery hot check that out oh boy mm. savory buttery flaky what a wonderful thing thank you Popeyes get out our trusty fork oh man I guess we're gonna have to stab in this situation mmm cheesy creamy delicious you could pretty much drink this right out of there and just flow into your mouth it's so creamy not steaming too i'm gonna have to open up my tartar sauce i should have grabbed a um a seafood sauce too because shrimp and seafood sauce is the best there's our shrimp let's dip that in the tartar sauce i'm not sure if i like my shrimp and tartar sauce i guess we'll find out Nope. <laughs> Shrimp either straight up or with seafood sauce. Next up is this beautiful breaded piece of fish. I believe it's a white fish from Alaska. Way to go, Popeyes. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. Crazy hot. Very hot. Crispy. The fish is nice and flaky in there. I'm sure the tartar sauce will go well with that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Look how much breading's on there. It's so crispy. And the shrimp are so juicy. Mm-hmm. We got another big, large piece of fish here that we need to finish. Mac and cheese. All done. Saving this piece of biscuit for last, it's like dessert, isn't it? An item worth eating before, during, and after dinner. It's that good. Mm. Again, I'm gonna sit back, relax, probably go for a walk, and then around nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, we'll go in there and grab that mud pie and another beverage, and uh, we'll enjoy that in the back of the car, and then we'll hit the hay for the night. coming 
up on nine o'clock for our snack and I am up to 12,648 steps and I'm coming up on 10 kilometers total walk uh, for the day and that kind of equals out to around 749 calories for just the walking exercise part of my day. But now it's time to go in and grab our late night snack and then hit the hay. All right guys, got our late night snack. Unfortunately, they don't do the mud pie thing here anymore. Sounds like it's been discontinued here in Canada or this location just doesn't have it. I haven't tried their strawberry pie. Mm. Do you like this water? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so I don't know which one's which. I guess we'll find out when we bite it. This one has tons of brown sugar all over it and cinnamon and this one doesn't. Uh, so this one's gonna be the strawberry. Let's do this first. <laughs> no doubt. Woo! Super hot. Just like the raspberry one. It has the cheesecake, but of course this has strawberry in it. And then it also has the, uh, actually I can't tell if it has the graham crust on it. Hang on. Mm -hmm. I do not see any graham crust in this. Maybe the other one has a, it's a special. It's like completely different. I can't wait to bite this apple. I love cinnamon. I love brown sugar and I love apples. And I love Popeyes. Here we go. Mmm. Very sweet. Crunchy, lots of apple in there. That exterior crunch there with the sugar and the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful with this kind of dessert because all that sugar makes it sticky and it's super hot. So you get that molten lava stuck to your lip and it can sting. It can hurt, it can leave a scar. <laughs> so which one's better? I'm thinking the apple ones. This is really good, but the apple one's amazing. And I also think the raspberry one might beat this. The one thing I like about this is because it has strawberry. Right? The one thing I like about the raspberry one is because it has the graham crust in it too. So it's like somebody put an actual piece of cheesecake into your turnover pastry. But this one is just uh, the cheesecake and the strawberry goo. But this is, I think, the number one thing on the menu. Mm-hmm. See? It comes right out. All done for the day. Unfortunately, they don't open for breakfast. They have no breakfast items whatsoever on the menu, and they open at 11. So I'm going to sleep in tomorrow as best I can and uh, wait for them to open at 11 and then we'll do our final lunch and that'll be a wrap. But right now I'm going to pack up, hit the hay and you guys can come along with me and we'll get things ready. Got to look around, make sure nobody's looking. See, that should work, right? Yes. All right, hopefully that light's gonna work for us for a little bit. So this is the spot that I found. It's a pretty good kind of hidden spot. My windows are already starting to fall. You can tell by the uh, the lens there on the camera. But uh, Popeyes is right there. And the gas station's over there. I'm pretty sure they're open 24 hours. So if I need to go to the washroom, I can, which is very handy. But uh, right beside, behind me here, is a car dealership and so it's well lit and uh i'm sure they've got security cameras and things so we're probably pretty safe here we're right up against this wall it's like a hydro thing or where they put garbage and uh yeah so this is this is my view for the night i'm gonna do an experiment tonight just use the comforter and keep the 
the sleeping bag over there. Just wear my long sleeve shirt, and if in the middle of the night it gets uh, a little get a little bit chaotic, then uh, we'll uh, put the hoodie on, get the sleeping bag out, and uh, get a little warmer. But it's 16 degrees Celsius right now, and so it's not that bad. You could probably sleep outside with just this comforter and you'd probably be fine all night i just don't know how low it's gonna go it did say to like 10 but that's still you're not freezing in 10 degrees celsius so um yeah when we start to get into the winter months it's gonna be a different story before i go to sleep i like to uh go on to facebook and there's a little tv button on there and it's got tons of news things you got the hodge twins you got ben shapiro talking you've got crazy videos you got funny videos lots of stuff on here there's a little bit of ralphie may very funny comedian i suggest giving him a shot if you can and fox news and of course mma fighting highlights love it and then i'll hit the hay so once again, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. See you in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 6.59. And the sunrise is supposed to be happening right now, but I can't see it. Definitely getting brighter in the east but I don't see any sunrise maybe there's a bit of cloud that I can't see right now excuse me Ooh. Oh, still tired finally fell asleep probably around 12 and then maybe around 1 or 2 it got cold so I had to get up put my hoodie on put my hat on uh, problem again with this location and restaurant is they don't have breakfast um, but like right beside Popeyes is a petrol can gas station and there's a Tim Hortons in there so we're gonna probably break the rules this time because uh, there's nothing to do for another five hours four hours until Popeyes opens so We'll go over to Tim Hortons, grab ourselves a coffee, and maybe a breakfast item, and uh, we'll eat it with you guys. All right, 7.22, time to get up. I was going to get up before, but I wanted to sleep in a little bit. Obviously, the sun is coming up now, and uh, yeah, time to get a coffee, sit back, relax, answer some emails, and uh, start our day. <laughs> to get some coffee trade out my winter hat it's actually 14 degrees celsius outside which isn't bad for a morning good good times for a bike ride really all right let's get going so we just moved our car from back behind there in front of popeyes and then we're just going to go over to tim hortons and petro can grab ourselves a coffee and a breakfast sandwich
mask off, defog glasses. Oh, it smells so good. Definitely gotta take the lid off. There we go. Now we can drink our coffee. Got my breakfast all laid out for me. Gonna sit back, enjoy that, enjoy my coffee. No, Tim Hortons, thank you. <laughs> uh, imagine if Popeyes actually had breakfast, what would that look like? Leave a comment in the comment section below while I enjoy this and we'll see you at lunchtime. Ah, good morning. I just realized I should show you what I'm eating, so hash browns, I already ate half of it. Before I realized, I should talk to you guys quickly. And then we've got this biscuit, the best thing at Tim Hortons is the biscuit, sausage, an egg with cheese. It is fantastic. Mmm. Super fresh, soft, tasty, and filling. Very important. Well, it's now 9.15. Time to go for a walk and uh, hit up that washroom at the gas station. All right, guys. It is hot, man. It's not hot outside, but I'm hot from walking. Just came back from my three kilometer walk. I'm gonna stop my timer. It took me 37 minutes to walk 3.13 kilometers, and I burned about uh, 192 calories to start the day off right. Uh, it is 10.01. We have one more hour before Popeyes opens and we'll grab our last meal in our 24 hour stealth camping challenge. I guess I can use this time to clean up the back. Let's go. Lots of mess to clean up. Lots of mess. Uh, I'll put this down. That's, this thing comes in super handy. It's power aid and uh, charges my phone, charges my cameras does everything I need it to do. Let's fold this thing up. Need to deflate this. Gotta pull that off and pull this one up. Pull that up. There we go. All the air is coming out now. Fold up my stealth blanket. Sleeping bag next. It's all deflated, ready to be stored away. Done. Done, I'm gonna put that in there from now on. It's a good spot for it. Done, done, just put our seats back and we're ready to go. All right, all neatly packed and stored for the next trip. Time to eat. All right, guys, it is five to 11, and I wanted to be the first one to the drive-through, but I saw a, a guy in a pickup truck zip in there. So uh, I'm, we might be number two. I was gonna order a few things, just to try them all, just to try them in front of you guys. Uh, I've discovered, actually, this car in front of him, too. I'm third. Hi, I like to uh, do the combo number two, the two-piece, uh, spicy with fries. And three? Uh, do you have a Pepsi, or I'm mean, sorry, Sprite or 7-Up? I'll okay, have Sprite. Okay, I'll do Sprite. And can I also get a three-piece tender by itself and a six-piece nuggets by itself? All right, people, last meal of the day is 22.35. Big bucks, big bucks. Thank you. No problem, just be a minute. Sure. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Bye. All right, people, here we go. The last meal of our 24 hour stealth camping video. Super celebration here. We've got our Sprite. We've got our chicken nuggets. Look at those crispy little nuggets. Then we've got our chicken tenders. Look how crispy those look. They look beautiful. They are super hot. I'm surprised my my lens isn't fogging up. And over here we got our biscuit, our two-piece chicken, our fries, and of course exactly what we asked for, the blackened ranch and two honeys. Are you guys ready for this? 
I am. Let's do it. First we sip. And then we dip. All right. I'm thinking, let's try this blackened ranch. I've, I probably have had it before for sure. Yeah, blackened ranch. I would definitely always dip nuggets and, and tenders into dips and honeys and stuff. But my deep fried chicken, sometimes I'll put honey on it. But when it's spicy like that, I think I just like it straight up. Just love the flavor and the heat. Cheers. Mmm. That is a nice, spicy, creamy, uh, peppery sauce. Hmm. I, I enjoy that quite. It actually has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Got everything. Hmm. Woo. Good thing about going through when they just open. Very hot. Very fresh food. Oh wow. Check out how crispy looking that tender is. That is so awesome. How do they do that? I'd love to know. Popeyes. Let me know how you do that. That's crazy. What kind of batter does that? Mmm. You hear that? Mega crunchy. Mmm. The tenders are way more saltier than the nuggets for some reason. I'm not sure how that could possibly be. Maybe the way they marinate them. Maybe they don't marinate the nuggets like they do the tenders. And do you guys get honey in the States? I think it's a Canadian thing, but... <laughs> I've said it once, I've said it a million times. If you've never tried honey on your deep fried chicken, please give it a shot before you say, ew, it is definitely one of the coolest combinations you'll ever have. Mm. The blackened ranch is awesome. The honey is better. Mm -hmm. Now on to the two piece spicy. Of course, gotta do a couple fries first. You hear that? They're crunchy too. Uh, a lot of you guys also tell me, this is uh, your guys' idea, I never thought of this, putting the honey on the biscuit. Ooh la la. Hey, honey. We're gonna sauce up your biscuits. Mmm. That is good. Woo! Deadly. <laughs> the two piece they gave me, it looks like they gave me a leg and a breast. Let's take a bite. Oh, I love spicy chicken. <laughs> oh! Mm. So hot. Oh, check out how juicy that is. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't get any juicier than that. Look at it, it's just glistening. Gotta eat more. Mm. It's dripping. Oh my God. That's killer. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below which chicken part is your favorite part here at Popeyes. I'm kind of partial to the legs and the thighs. Let us know. Share below. All right, guys, we are all done here at Popeyes doing the 24-hour stealth camping video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did making it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this phenomenal playlist right over here, and we'll see you over there when you're hungry.